Did you know sign language interpreters are state and or nationally certified? To achieve this certification, interpreters must hold at least an associate's degree and pass a series of state exams. But before they can even take these performance exams, they first have to pass a test of English proficiency. These exams test their expressive, receptive, and interactive skills. Some states even require an additional license. So, it's clear that becoming a certified sign language interpreter requires a considerable amount of training and dedication. Did you know most sign language interpreters graduate from an interpreter training program? These programs offered through colleges provide two to four years years of intense training. Imagine spending years honing your skills, absorbing knowledge, and navigating the complexities of sign language. From nuanced hand movements to facial expressions and body language, every detail matters. And it's not just about learning the signs, it's about understanding the culture and community. This rigorous training prepares them for the complex and rewarding work of interpreting. Are you aware that interpreters are bound by a strict code of ethics? This creed includes a strong emphasis on confidentiality. As intermediaries in the lives of individuals who are deaf or hard of hearing, interpreters often find themselves privy to sensitive and personal information. Their role, however, is solely to facilitate communication. Even in emotionally charged situations, they must remain silent observers, unable to share or discuss what they've witnessed. An interpreter's unwavering commitment to ethics ensures trust and respect in every interaction. Did you know sign language is the only language that is interpreted simultaneously? That's right. While other languages are interpreted consecutively, sign language interpretation happens in real time. This means interpreters have to be quick thinkers, translating from one language to another on the spot. There's no time for pausing or looking up words. It's a dynamic, fluid process that requires immense skill, focus, and a deep understanding of both languages being used. This unique aspect of sign language makes interpreting an even more impressive skill. Did you know that sign language interpreters must remain neutral at all times? This is crucial because their role is to facilitate communication, not to influence it with their own thoughts or opinions. Picture a family member interpreting for a loved one. It's tough for them to maintain neutrality, especially when the message is not a positive one. Furthermore, most family members do not possess the necessary sign language skills to interpret accurately. Neutrality is a cornerstone of professional interpreting, ensuring unbiased communication. Did you know that American Sign Language is a true language with regional dialects? Yes, it's not just a collection of signs. Just as English has different accents and dialects, ASL has its own regional variations. These variations can be as simple as a sign being performed differently in different regions. Furthermore, there are multiple modes of ASL, each with its own unique set of signs and rules. This is why interpreters must be fluent in all these modes and dialects. Interpreters need to be versatile and adept in various forms of ASL to effectively communicate. Did you know there are different certification levels and specialty certifications in interpreting? Indeed, some interpreters go the extra mile to train in legal and medical interpreting. These specialty areas demand a deeper understanding of terminologies and processes, hence the need for additional years of training. Moreover, there's a unique certification that focuses on verbal language and how it forms on the lips, a skill crucial for those who use oral interpretation. These specialty certifications allow interpreters to work in specific fields requiring in-depth knowledge. Did you know that there are certified trilingual interpreters? These highly skilled individuals can interpret in three languages, spoken English, American Sign Language, and spoken Spanish. The road to becoming a trilingual interpreter is not an easy one. It involves rigorous training and a series of comprehensive exams, ensuring proficiency in all three languages. Just as in any field of interpreting, fluency is not enough. Trilingual interpreters must also demonstrate cultural competence and understanding of context, since language is more than just words. In certain complex situations, a certified deaf interpreter, or CDI, may work in tandem with the trilingual interpreter. This is particularly common when Mexican Sign Language, or MSL, is involved. 
the deaf individual who uses MSL will sign to the CDI. Then the CDI will sign to the ASL interpreter who will voice to the hearing participants. Trilingual interpreters and CDIs are vital in ensuring effective communication in multilingual settings. Let's take a moment to appreciate the depth and breadth of a sign language interpreter's role. From their rigorous certification and professional training to their strict adherence to a code of ethics, they are truly committed professionals. Their unique, their unique job of simultaneous interpretation, their requirement for neutrality, and their fluency in American Sign Language is commendable. Add to this their specialized skills in legal and medical interpretation and their ability to interpret trilingually. As we see, sign language interpreters are highly trained ethical professionals committed to facilitating communication for everyone.